welcome to the Critically Coolest. I'm the Monk, and today we are in Wasteland Freeze. We're on another character customization, and we are doing the most important build uh, out of everyone, if you ask me. Basically, we are doing the leader and the medic. Now, it's quite a complicated build. There are lots of parts to it. It's one of the most important builds in the game. Um, I've gone with Bookworm as my background. I like that 5% extra XP. I think long term it can really help and it's a good one to have um, so starting weapon so this guy really he works well with a melee weapon he also works well as a trooper uh, I normally have him as a trooper with the um, automatic rifle and then have a melee weapon as his backup so let's strip off all these points and show you what we do on basically your start build so right at the beginning of the game you're gonna want some coordination uh, it's really important for you to actually be able to get in there and in front of probably your sniper um, it's just really important to have so charisma is really important maybe not at the start of the game uh, but definitely something you're gonna need to be pumping points into you're going to want some strength. This is your health. Uh, also, if you're going to use that melee weapon, it's how hard you're going to hit with that too. Uh, and as we progress in through the game now, you're going to want to concentrate on, unfortunately, a few things. You know, this is a character that you're really going to need a lot of points into. Um, and that's why that extra XP definitely helps. So coordination, uh, pumping it up to six is a good idea. Seven is probably a better idea. Um, it enables you to really either hit twice or move, get that resin. Um, and of course, charisma is really good. You want to pump that as high as you can. It basically buffs anything to do with your leadership. It also buffs anything to do with heals as well, like reses and stuff like that. Um, your strength you're going to want to have high enough in the end um, to take some hits because you are going to be taking hits as a medic unfortunately there's no way around that and then when you've leveled up a little bit more i would probably put it on awareness for your ranged attack maybe keep pumping charisma you do get an experience buff um with charisma that with bookworm it means that this guy should be leveling up a lot faster than your other characters in the end because he's actually getting you know a lot more xp um so now into the skills there's a few ways to go you could put points on your automatic and of course your melee like i said they're the weapons i like to go for on this guy um the problem is is that you really for an automatic weapon you want it up to seven uh, you get a couple of good perks there and then the spare points obviously you need i like to have one point into animal uh, whisperer it lets him have a pair and then an additional buff after that whatever you want to do with the other skill points is up to you but remember this is your leader build so definitely put points into leader I don't know if it's worth actually maximizing this, but definitely I'd say five points into leadership is enough to get you through the entire game. It gives you a really nice radius um, to work with, you know, of characters that you are buffing, and it gives you those nice um, those nice bonuses um, to heals as well. So you're going to want obviously first aid as high as you can. Obviously, try and remember that when it comes to uh, putting points into first aid or any skill line, that you can find trinkets or you can find skill books that actually buff this stat up itself. So with with first aid, I really wouldn't buff it up, up higher than eight. Um, not only do they cost a lot of skill points to do, um, but right at the beginning of the game, you can get a stethoscope uh, just for completing a pretty easy um, mission. And you can find the skill book to pump that finally up to 10 as well. Okie dokie, so quirks. So bop bag isn't a bad way to go here. 
basically it gives you that extra armor yeah i understand that it decreases your speed but you can you're putting that on anyway um so you know it's definitely a way to go there are other ones as well there's some a couple of other good ones that you could look into getting a two pump chump for instance that's not a bad one um especially if, if you know what you're doing however some of these battles can be quite lengthy so the debuff on them just really isn't worth it. way of the squeezes is just a funny one and i don't recommend being drunk the entire game so yeah for me bot bag is where to go just remember to uh, pop up the extra speed when you're leveling up your character you do level up quite a bit in this game so getting those attribute points really isn't that hard there you go Anything so else? let's have a quick look I'll at be here. your perks so again in perks i think the uh the two you can get at the beginning which is healthy and hardened i really feel like they're a must on most characters uh the extra armor is great and the extra health 35 extra health is really good as well as we went for seven on our automatic guns i think double tap is really good um, i just think that's probably the best stat in the automatic rifles and i actually haven't got a point in first aid yet i think physiotherapy can be really good i don't really like emergency response don't really like overhealing um i think uh, the hippocratic oath uh, if you max or when you max your your um your first aid could be really really good too leadership rally i really like it costs four ap but it provides two ap to any ally within a radius right at the beginning of the game that's going to be really good it gives everyone a good a good jump a good start i quite like it demoralize on leadership i don't really like i feel like there could be more some some better perks there really um and that's it really that's it and that is my leader and medic build if you have a different build or you want to share some uh hints and tricks that maybe you know about pop it in the comments if you like the video don't forget to hit that um like button i've been a monk and we've been a critically clueless and i'll catch you again on the next video hopefully more wasteland videos coming really really soon